Hello, Kipsters. Hello, Miss P. It's music time. It's music time. Everyone get ready. Everyone get ready. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Be kind. Be kind. Be Have some fun. Let's have some fun. Hello, Kipsters. Hello, Miss P. It's music time. It's music time. Everyone get ready. Everyone get ready. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Hey everyone, Miss P here, and Eloise the Elephant. Hello! We are so excited to share some brand new instruments with you. Boys and girls, take a really good look around the music room. How many instruments do you see? I see Eloise the Elephant counting on her fingers. What a smart counting strategy. Eloise, how many new instruments did you find in the music room? Hmm, five. Five, that's right. Good job. Boys and girls, we are going to learn about these instruments in this week's musical story, Why Mosquitoes Buzz in People's Ears. Yeah! I love this one too. It was one of my favorites in elementary school. This story is a West African tale. We are going to do our next hello song in a new African language called Zulu. Zulu? Yes, Zulu. The way you say hello in Zulu is Sao Bona. Say it again. Sao Bona. Let's say it together. One, two, three. Sao Bona. I will sing hello around the world, around the world, around the world. I will sing hello around the world. I will sing all over the world. Sao Bona. Sao Bona. Sao Bona. with how quickly you are learning all of these new languages. Didn't they sound great, Eloise? Oh, yeah. We get to do one more song in Zulu. Yes! This song is from The Lion King, and it has part of the song in Zulu and part of it in English. The Zulu part will go like this. I'll say one word, and then you say it again with Eloise. Kinesa. 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 Mfana. Mfana. Nge. Nge. Gazi. Gazi. Lemvana. Lemvana. Now, the first line is this. Kinesa, Kinesa, Kinesa. Kinesa, Kinesa, Kinesa. Mfana nge. Mfana nge. Gazi lemvana. Gazi lemvana. Great. Now sing after me. Kinesa, Kinesa. Kinesa, Kinesa. Kinesa mfana nge. Kinesa mfana nge. Gazi lemvana. Gazi Lemvana. Great job. Sing the whole thing with me. 
Great! Now you're ready to sing it and dance to the beat with Miss P. Let's rock! Eloise, did you check out those dance moves? Oh yeah. Y'all were looking good and sounding good. Keep up the great work. Now it's time to learn about our new instruments and how we're going to use them in our book. Our book has different animals and insects and each of them is going to have a different sound played by different instruments. Eloise, you can have a seat for this part. Our first instrument is the recorder. The recorder is going to play the mosquito and it will sound like this. And the crow. And also mother owl. The next instrument I will show you is called an acoustic box or a cowbell. And there are three different places to hit. You can hit at the top, at the bottom, or on the edge. And all three make a different sound. The rabbit in the story says, crick, crick, crick. And so it will be played by the acoustic box. Our next instrument is called the giro. Can you say giro? The giro is going to play the iguana and it will sound like this. Our next new instrument is called a xylophone. You use these things called mallets to strike the instrument. This xylophone is going to play the monkey in our story, and it will sound like this. The xylophone will also be used to play the baby owls or owlets. They will sound like this. King Lion will be played by this drum called a tubano. King Lion will sound like this. I bet most of you don't have these instruments at your house, but what you might have in your kitchen cabinet is some salt and pepper. You can use this to make an instrument. I am gonna play this jar of pepper for the python snake. It will sound like this. Now it's time for the story. 
why mosquitoes buzz in people's ears by Verna Ardema, pictures by Leo and Diane Dillon. One morning, a mosquito saw an iguana drinking at a water hole. The mosquito said, Iguana, you will never believe what I saw yesterday. Try me, said the iguana. The mosquito said, I saw a farmer digging yams that were almost as big as I am. What's a mosquito compared to a yam? snapped the iguana grumpily. I would rather be deaf than listen to such nonsense. Then he stuck two sticks in his ears and went off, meck, 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 through the reeds. The iguana was still grumbling to himself when he happened to pass by a python. The big snake raised his head and said, Good morning, iguana. But the iguana did not answer, but lumbered on, bobbing his head, bada min, bada min. Now, why won't he speak to me, said the python to himself. Iguana must be angry about something. I'm afraid he's plotting some mischief against me. He began looking for somewhere to hide. The first likely place he found was a rabbit hole, and in he went. Wasa wusu, wasa wusu, wasa wusu. When the rabbit saw the big snake coming into her burrow, she was terrified. She scurried through her back way and bounded quick, quick, quick across the clearing. The crow saw the rabbit running for her life. He flew into the forest crying, caca, caca, caca. It was his duty to spread the alarm in case of danger. The monkey heard the crow He was sure that some dangerous beast was prowling near. He began screeching and leaping, keely wheely, keely wheely, through the trees to help warn the other animals. As the monkey was crashing through the treetops, he happened to land on a dead limb. It broke and fell on an owl's nest killing one of the owlets. Mother Owl was not at home, for though she usually hunted only in the night, this morning she was still out searching for one more tidbit to satisfy her hungry babies. When she returned to the nest, she found one of them dead, Her other children told her that the monkey had killed it. All that day and all night, she sat in her tree. So sad, so sad, so sad. Now it was Mother Owl who woke the sun each day so that the dawn could come. But this time, when she should have hooted for the sun, she did not do it. The night grew longer and longer. The animals of the forest knew it was lasting much too long. They feared the sun would never come back. At last, King Lion called a meeting of the animals. They came and sat down, pem, 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 around a council fire. Mother Owl did not come, so the antelope was sent to fetch her. When she arrived, King Lion asked, Mother Owl, 
Why have you not called the sun? The night has lasted long, 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 and everyone is worried. Mother Owl said, Monkey killed one of my owlets. Because of that, I cannot bear to wake the sun. The king said to the gathered animals, Did you hear? It was the monkey who killed the owlet. And now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so that the day can come. Then King Lion called the monkey. He came before him nervously glancing from side to side. Rim, 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 rim. Monkey, said the king. Why did you kill one of Mother Owl's babies? Oh, king, said the monkey. It was the crow's fault. He was calling and calling to warn us of danger, and I went leaping through the trees to help. A limb broke under me, and it fell on the owl's nest. The king said to the council, so it was the crow who alarmed the monkey who killed the owlet. And now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so that the day will come. Then the king called for the crow. That big bird came flapping up. He said, King Lion, it was the rabbit's fault. I saw her running for her life in the daytime. Wasn't that reason enough? To spread an alarm, the king nodded his head and said to the council, So it was the rabbit who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet. And now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so that the day can come. Then King Lion called the rabbit. The timid little creature stood before him, one trembling paw drawn up uncertainly. Rabbit, cried the king. Why did you break a law of nature and go running, running, running in the daytime? Oh, king, said the rabbit. It was the python's fault. I was in my house minding my own business when that big snake came in and chased me out. The king said to the council, So it was the python who scared the rabbit, who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet, And now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so that the day can come. King Lion called the python, who came slithering, wasa wusu, wasa wusu, past the other animals. But King, he cried, it was the iguana's fault. He wouldn't speak to me, and I thought he was plotting some mischief against me. 
when I crawled into the rabbit's hole, I was only trying to hide. The king said to the council, So it was the iguana who frightened the python, who scared the rabbit, who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet, and now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so that the day can come. Now the iguana was not at the meeting, for he had not heard the summons. The antelope was sent to fetch him. All the animals laughed when they saw the iguana coming. Bad a min, bad a min, with the sticks still stuck in his ears. King Lion pulled out the sticks. Pura, pura. Then he asked, Iguana, what evil have you been plotting against the python? None, none at all, cried the iguana. Python is my friend. Then why wouldn't you say good morning to me, demanded the snake. I didn't hear you or even see you said the iguana. Mosquito told me such a big lie. I couldn't bear to listen to it. So I put sticks in my ears. Gay, 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 laughed the lion. So that's why you had sticks in your ears? Yes, said the iguana. It was the mosquito's fault. King Lion said to the council, So it was the mosquito who annoyed the iguana, who frightened the python, who scared the rabbit, who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet. And now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so that the day can come. Punish the mosquito, punish the mosquito, cried all the animals. When Mother Owl heard that, she was satisfied. She turned her head toward the east and hooted. And the sun came up. Meanwhile, the mosquito had listened to it all from a nearby bush. She crept under a curly leaf, sem, and was never found and brought before the council. But because of this, the mosquito has a guilty conscience. To this day, she goes about whining in people's ears, Z, is everyone still angry at me? When she does that, she gets an honest answer. Kapow. The end. I have a couple questions for y'all. Let's see if you can remember which animal made this noise. Hmm, mosquito. Yes, the mosquito. Very good. What about this one? The python snake. The python. Great job. I've got one more. The lion. 
Lion. King Lion, that's right. For my final question, I want to know who remembers what instrument played the iguana? Hmm, it starts with a g guido. Yes, Eloise? The guido. Very good. Now it's time to learn how to say goodbye in Zulu. Follow me. Salakashe. 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 Give yourselves a pat, pat, pat on the back, back, back for a job well done. See you next week. I will sing goodbye around the world, around the world, around the world. I will sing goodbye around the world. I will sing all over the world. Salakashe, 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 Salakash